Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are doing two design ideas with the new bakery house skin. For the first idea, we're gonna go more French bakery traditional looking and this is gonna use a lot of soft color tones and then we're gonna have a dedicated little order area and kitchen spot. I decided to use the brick wallpaper in the back to kind of add a little bit of warmth to the room just because a lot of white was going on and I didn't want it to be too bright colored. I also really wanted to do a display case sort of effect with our little ordering area, but obviously since we do not have tiered trays or even display cases, we're gonna have to get really creative with this layout. Originally going into this build, I thought using three of the kitchen stoves would be such a great idea with this build, but honestly, I kind of like using just two because I feel like it gives it almost like an animal crossing partition sort of effect so i just think that this was a really nice addition to the build and it complements our brick wallpaper next going into this build i was originally just using the counter item that way it was all a nice you know symmetrical line with the countertops however i noticed that with this little laptop like item i could not place it on these counters because they were too small so i needed to swap in one of the corners with a kitchen island that way i can place four tile items on it the downside about this is you're going to have a little bit of an empty gap in between the kitchen counter and the island. This can be fixed though with maybe using a second kitchen island, but I didn't want this area to be too big and take up too much of my room. The little gap in between these don't really bother me too much. I feel like you can hide this with a plant or even with like a large cake item. So I'm just gonna work around this, but if it does bother you, you can definitely hide this a little bit better. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and continue decorating this first idea. And then towards the end of this first build, we'll do a final walkthrough and some overhead shots of how everything turned out before moving on to the next idea so I'll see you in a few minutes. After a few last minute details, here is how our first idea turned out. I just think adding the pink wallpaper over the white one added such a nice, elegant, and girly sort of vibe to the bakery. It also really complemented the Beauty and the Beast items that I was using for the sitting areas too. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, I think having display cases would make such a huge impact in a bakery build like this. Just imagine like, you know, these glass cases in front of our counter areas displaying a bunch of really gorgeous baked goods. So I'm really hoping that in the future, we see something like this added into Disney Dream My Valley. But with our limitations, I still think that we pulled off a pretty cute looking bakery and something a little bit different than what we normally would see for a build like this. Now for my next idea, this accidentally went way more coffee shop vibe than I was expecting, but I still wanted to include it in today's video just because we're still working in the bakery interior. And I think it's a great option if you are somebody who's not into the elegant core sort of look, maybe you're more into the modern minimalistic style. 
Now this second idea is gonna be making use of the same brick wallpaper that we used in our first build. However, we're gonna mix in some black and gray colors throughout it too. I personally really love a good modern style and now that I'm looking over this footage, I'm kind of laughing because this looks so much like my local Starbucks. They're using a very similar layout and they also are using the same color palette. I guess in a way this was inspired by Starbucks but add in maybe a little bakery goods area in front of our counter spot. I honestly feel like the bakery skin could work really nice for a coffee shop anyway, so we're just gonna vibe with this and kind of see how it turns out. I think that this is definitely a more unique approach to the skin, and even though I really like the traditional bakery sort of vibe, I really loved this second idea today just because I am a sucker for a good coffee shop, and it gave me a great spot to also display some really cute baked goods like cupcakes and muffins. And to add on to this, I really hope that we continue to see more skins added into the premium shop. I would love to see maybe more modern building like options nothing too fancy and elegant core like we've been seeing recently but something a little bit more clean and something that you would see in a bigger styled city and as mentioned once again like i've said i think about three times in this video give us display cases i want ones that i can place on my counters so like little smaller options and bigger ones that obviously go on the floor Another thing that I was thinking about with one of my friends the other day is if they're going to give us themed skins like this, for example, today we're working on the bakery one, I feel like it could have been such a great opportunity if they maybe included with the skin an item pack that matches the skin's theme or maybe also on the same week of the premium shop sell a additional pack that kind of goes with the item too. Regardless, I would definitely pay more Moonstones if each house skin they would release came with a matching item pack, so I feel like this could be such a great change to see in a future update but for now just like on the first idea we're gonna have to get really creative with our item layout and make it really have a nice coffee shop and bakery area sort of vibe Another thing that I really want to see added is something as simple as menu screens being added and little menus that I can place on the floor. I am gonna try to do a menu-like effect using the wall-mounted TV, and we're gonna use the little memories that you find throughout the game, and there's just like a bunch of writing on it to kind of give the illusion that this is a little menu on the wall where our customers can order different goods. I think a great feature that could be implemented in a future update was maybe like customizing our own designs that we could place on memory frames like this or TV screens. So imagine kind of like Animal Crossing where we can make our own menus for the wall. I just think that this could have been such a great idea. Now to add on to this, I have seen people use with the motif designs making their own wall art pieces and I'm not sure exactly how it's done. So if anybody knows how they create these, let me know in the comment section below because I am planning to do several different interior designs in a future video and these motifs would work really lovely with some of the ideas that I have. Anyway, Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and continue detailing our coffee and bakery shop and I'm gonna go ahead and detail this little sitting area underneath the window and also add some more additional wall art. I also used this table on one of my older interior videos but I also used it on one of my recent sushi shop builds and I thought that it would be such a great addition for a modern styled coffee shop. This is a premium shop item. It goes with the Toy Story collection and it hasn't been in rotation for a couple of weeks but it's like a bunch of blue cabinets and like RV sort of themed pieces. If you're somebody who doesn't have this item, I think maybe using another counter like we're using in our ordering area would be a great addition to this build. But another idea, which I have not tested yet, I think it could be worth trying out possibly the tropical wood shelves that you get with the Eternity Isle DLC. This is like a craftable item. I'm wondering how this would look underneath the window or maybe against a wall to achieve maybe a modern floating table sort of effect like we have going on right now. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and continue detailing our coffee coffee shop and bakery build and then we'll do a final walkthrough of how everything turned out near the end of this video.
so our coffee shop is pretty much done. I'm just gonna go ahead and detail with some food items throughout the room, but overall, I think that this is completely finished and I hope it brought you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Before today's video also ends, I do wanna give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.